wearing a maxi dress, which you can never have enough maxi dresses. This is from Intimate, which is the same company as Shoe Mint and Jewel Mint. This is actually a convertible maxi, so you can wear it like a regular maxi dress, or you can wear it as a really long skirt, and it kind of crunches at the waist. You fold it over like this. Oh, make it a little bit shorter. So, or you can make yeah. it longer. So, and then that's a little bit more. That like gives a little bit more <laughs> coverage. Coverage. <laughs> a little bit more modesty there. Oh, <laughs> Then we got the tacos, mm -hmm. but you brushed your teeth and I didn't, so sorry if I'm like I have offending to. you with my. <laughs> I have like really large teeth, so food gets stuck in between all my Do teeth. Do I have anything in my teeth? No, you don't. Okay. You really don't. Okay. I invited Nikki over to my channel today because we're actually going to be doing a very short series, fitness and how. What are we calling it? I are don't we calling know. it something? Like we're going to be doing um a workout clothing haul on your channel, which mm. is fun. Such a good little bargainista. Like, she found us all these amazing clothes, and like, they're so fashionable and cute, we didn't even have to spend much. So yeah. we're doing that haul on my we're channel. We're gonna do that haul on her channel, so keep an eye out for all of our fitness and health videos that we're gonna be putting up, and... Would I be able to pretend nothing ever Most of my like specialty snacks at Whole Foods, and I think Nikki, it's the same for you, right? Yeah. So we want to share what we got with you guys. So I guess we'll just jump right in. Huh? Yay! So the first thing that I got, actually, I'll show both of these. These are the rice cakes, and I get savory and sweet rice cakes. And the reason I do that is just because if I'm in the mood for something sweet, I usually will go for like the caramel, the caramel corn <gasps> ones. So it so tastes, does it taste like caramel popcorn? Uh -huh. It tastes like caramel popcorn, oh. but it's a little bit healthier. And so I get that. And then I also get the seaweed and tamari. So these are more like a savory. Oh. So when I want something really salty or when I want something sweet, I'll go for the rice cakes. I always get my rice cakes at Whole Foods because I just like the flavors and I feel like they're a little bit healthier, a little bit healthier made. They're made with organic whole grain brown rice. So. I've never been a rice cake fan, but you just kind of sold me. This is not really, I guess, a snacky food, but I buy it at Whole Foods because they're hard to find. This is Amy's um, made with organic flour and tomato. And I love Amy's brand in general because you can buy like a ton of vegetarian and vegan options or like regular diet food options that are just healthier because they're organic or whatever. It's kind of expensive. It's just as expensive as like ordering like from takeaway. It's like $8 or $9 dollars but it's really really good and I'll make this and I'll make like a little salad and like garlic bread and it's really it's a pretty good price for a dinner though it, it is when you think so about bad. it and like using a little salad and like a sliced garlic bread and like maybe artichokes I love that brand Amy's the next thing that I got is this synergy organic raw tea this is kombucha tea which I know you're not a huge fan of because of the flavor it kind of tastes like um, almost like apple cider vinegar and they have different flavors this is the trilogy flavor so it's kind of sweet and I personally really love the flavor so I wish I did it's so good for you I, I love it I don't and it's supposed to help balance like um, your acidity levels in your body mm. and so I drink these I, they're kind of expensive so I try to drink um, like half of the bottle and then I'll drink maybe the, the rest of the half the next day so okay now I got bars I really really like bars because I'm like weird if I don't eat every two hours I get like shaky and I like start being really dramatic so first one is the cliff kids bar it's the Z bar now if we're just gonna be real here it's kind of like a healthier cookie it's really doesn't have that much <laughs> nutritious value to it and it's fun too because I thought about this the other day even when I don't need them it's fun to be able to give them to someone else if they're hungry yeah. like be a little mommy on the go you're like here you go like I'll take care of you so I like these I also like Luna bars nuts over chocolate and then Z bar just came out with a new one it is a crispy rice bar in chocolate chips so I'm really excited to try that and I'll have to 
keep you posted. Um, I got bars too, and so I got the I got three of the Cliff bars. Um, so I got the chocolate chip ones. Wait. And yeah, they're good because they're cheap too. Yeah, these are all the kid chocolate chip bars, which again are good to keep in your purse, um, just in case you start feeling icky and you haven't eaten and you need something. Um, and they're more also, dramatic when we feel icky. It's like we need food now. <laughs> We're very dramatic. Yeah. And then I get the Pure Fit. These are protein bars that I use either before or after a workout. These have 18 grams of protein, so I like to get the Pure Fit from Whole Foods also. And then I also got the Bobo's Oat Bars. These are all natural. This is a coconut oat bar. These are a little bit more expensive, but these are organic rolled oats, brown rice syrup. So it's basically like oatmeal in a bar. That's, That's so exactly good. so. It's like oatmeal to go, and these are great if you're gonna be somewhere for a long day and you you need something that's really gonna sustain you, mm. um, and it you can keep it with you. So basically, it's like an oatmeal to like go. Like other than a healthy cookie, you mean? Yep. Other Which than I bring. <laughs> I'm like, sure, this cookie works. This isn't snack food, but I know he said like specialty food too. I got veganese. Now I didn't think I was that obsessed with veganese, but apparently I really am. I use it for a lot of things. I use it on sandwiches and stuff like that, but the biggest thing I use it for is I make garlic aioli dip and I like it better and Dan hates mayonnaise. He likes this so much. It's the trippiest thing. It's like it tastes like mayonnaise, but it's better, I, in my opinion. I don't so, mind it. I don't mean I don't mind the taste. I don't really notice a difference. Dude, I love. I, that's probably the best way. Is you yeah. don't notice the difference. Mayonnaise makes me feel different, but the taste doesn't taste yeah, any yeah, different. Yeah, yeah. yeah that makes so sense. I'll add like lemon, garlic, salt, pepper, and it makes the best aioli dip for like artichokes. Oh, <gasps> nom nom nom. Yep. So good. All right. Well, then I got some teas. I got these two. These are the teas teas. So I got the rose green tea and the jasmine green tea. I'm a big fan of tea, and I love flavored teas. I I don't like sweetened teas typically, but I just love um, the flavors of these. I got the, <gasps> I'm excited oops, for you to try this one. I know the rose and the jasmine green tea. I'm so excited to try these. I love I love tea. Tea makes me ridiculously happy. I know, I know. It does the same to me too. I think it's because it's so yummy, but like you don't feel weird after yeah. drinking it. You're just yeah. like, mm, refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> She's the one that turned me on to this tea. The tea's tea, green, white tea, the jasmine. Wait, did I get the oh I got the wrong one. Whoops. This is depressing. But that one's still really good. You think it's still really good? Yeah, the white tea's amazing. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> I was all depressed oh. for a second. I always drink the, the big one of this in the jasmine, the little mini one she got. So I've never tried this one, but we have the same taste in teas, so I'm sure it's good. Then I got a few other little snackies. I got these tamari sesame brown rice snaps. Right. They're so good. Whole grain brown rice and, and like, um, do what? Soy sauce. That's pretty like much salt, all that it is. Pepper. <laughs> That's pretty much all that it is. So it gives you that like salty thing that you need, but it's also brown rice, so you don't have to feel so guilty about it. So that, and then I love black licorice. I know some people are not a fan. You either hate black licorice or love it. I love it, and this is an all-natural soft licorice. Um, so it's actually really healthy for you. It's molasses, wheat flour, licorice extract, natural flavor, and that's it. That's all that is in this, and I can eat this, and this like satiates my desire for something sweet. So Dude. I love. Love, love, love this. No wonder you make YouTube videos. I'm watching you talk about these things and I'm like, I should have bought that. That's amazing. <laughs> it's true. It's like you're such a little good food seller. So then I got this is kind of boring, but this is my favorite orange juice oh, brand. That's amazing. Of all of them. It's the Simply Orange. It's not from Concentrate. It's 100% pure squeezed. It's pasteurized, but whatever. Orange juice and it's high pulp. So I like it with high pulp. For me, it's the sweetest one I've tasted, but there's no added sugar. I think it's the pulp that does it. It's mm -hmm. not like bitter, and Dan likes to drink this straight out of the bottle, if we're being honest here. <laughs> I like to mix it with smoothies, so that's how I get like the Jamba Juice taste, is I'll mix like fruit, like strawberry, different berries, cherries, stuff like that, and then I'll put orange juice in it. So the complimenting plate, like the citrus and the berry, it's really good I together. love that. And they have good lemonade too, that brand. Do they? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Yeah. And the last two things I got are, I just got um, electrolyte water, and then I got, oh, I got a watermelon. And the guy told us at the store you have to hit it and hear it. It's hollow. That's a little trick to find out if you get a good watermelon. So mini and tiny. I've never seen a watermelon that little. It's a baby watermelon. It's so a baby. Cute. <laughs> it's a baby watermelon. So okay, then I got um some Daya or Daya, however you say it. Cheese. They're cheddar style shreds, and I like this brand. It's expensive. I want to say this bag was like four fifty or five dollars. Maybe that's not that expensive. Is that expensive? Mm, that's I mean, she's gonna be like three ninety five. Oh, okay. So that bad. Just kidding. Well, this is really good because it's the healthiest cheese alternative supposedly that that is out there. There's no soy in it. It's made from like coconut oil, um, safflower oil, yeast, like different things like that. So it's not 
for people who are trying to avoid soy, this is really good, and it melts. It melts like, like really melts. So I really like this, um, and I like the mozzarella flavor too. And then I got a little Saturn peach, which she, I don't think you had never seen a Saturn peach, right? No. They're so cute. They're like little pressed discs. And I like them because they're like, mm. they're a very sweet brand of, of peaches. Like they're very I sweet. I love the smell of peach. Right? Last but not least, I swear I'm done. I got another six pack of Zevias. Yay! Oh, and we got the strawberry <gasps> one too. Oh yeah, yeah. We, we got, got strawberry. Twinsy strawberry mm -hmm. Zevia. Cheers. 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 Oh, that was fun. I know. And they just came out with these. So these Yay. are good. Well, thanks so much for watching this video, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Yay. Bye. Bye.